Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is Coach Bill with Bill Mabry Online Coaching. Hope you guys are having a <clears throat> great, uh, what day is it today? Thursday so far? Well, guys, we're only a few days away from the um, new year, which is 2022. And most of you out there are basically going to be doing a New Year's resolution um, when it comes to losing that holiday weight gain you gained or you're looking to become healthier in the new year. So today's topic is sadly New Year's weight loss failures and why. I hate to be the guy to tell you this, but most of you guys who go on these New Year resolutions to lose that belly fat or body fat, most likely most of you are going to fail. And, and it's, this is nothing new. You guys know that this happens year after year after year that people go on these American Standard diets or these fad diets and they end up quitting you know, two or three months into it because they're just not seeing the progress they want to or mostly because uh, they just don't want to do it anymore. They just don't want to hassle with it because they're either always hungry or there's certain events that they go to and they tend to eat what they shouldn't be eating and then they go to another event and they get frustrated and they, get, they quit or they get confused on what they're supposed to eat and they quit. Well, guys, there's reasons why people fail year after year after year. year. And I kind of wrote down a few of these failures or what causes people to fail. Obviously, the, the one of them is going to be following a proven plan or a program. They don't have structure. They don't know what kind of a plan they should be following. The number two is basically another strong point is they don't have the accountability or they're not accountable to some somebody who will put them on a proven program or a plan and follow with them and keep them accountable. Number three is really big, guys, huge, and that's knowledge. Lack of knowledge on the root cause of why you're gaining that belly fat or body fat continually year after year after year, why are these foods that you thought are healthy is actually causing you to gain more belly fat or body fat? And the issue is knowledge. You guys aren't, they're not addressing the root cause. Nobody's explaining to them that you have to address the root cause that's causing the weight gain. And most of all that is food driven. There's another one, number four, knowing that the first 90 days of your New Year's resolution to lose weight are basically the most important three months because most of the time people fail halfway through it because I've said they get confused, frustrated, or they have no idea what's causing their emotional eating or why certain why they have these cravings and why they're starving. And then understanding the root cause and how to fix it. Guys, fat at you've heard me talk about this. Fat adaptation and ketone adapted, once you have addressed the root cause and you understand that it's fruit food driven and that it's all about hormones and certain foods that cause those certain hormones to cause you to have the uh, food cravings or the emotional eating part of it, then you, you, then you learn about the fat, what fat adaptation and what ketone adapted is. And by changing the types of foods you're eating, getting away from the fad diets, getting to more of a high-fat, low-carb meals, and then combining it with intermittent fasting, you are then putting your body in an environment that is going to help control those hormones that are causing issues. 
the bottom line is it's not about willpower. Willpower has nothing to do with being successful in the new year when it comes to losing that belly fat or body fat. It's all about understanding hormones and understanding which foods are causing certain hormones to be out of control and that is going to cause you to have those sweet and carb cravings and cause your appetite to increase when you're fasting for a certain amount of time. The body was never designed to follow the standard American diet or to eat carbs two to three times, four times a day. The body wasn't designed to do that. And that's the issue, and that's where knowledge comes in. You need to find somebody that's going to give you the program or the plan that's going to take your body from being a carb burner to being a fat burner. And by becoming fat adapted, that's going to control hormones that is causing your emotional eating or causing those certain cravings and so forth. And here at BillMabryCoaching.com, we have courses and packages. We, we give you all the educational materials and videos you need along with the tools to keep you accountable to make sure that you are successful in your new year in your new year's resolution when it comes to losing that weight and guys because of all the information you get with our courses and packages the only way you're going to fail is by quitting too soon there we give you so much information that you'll fully understand how hormones play the biggest part in losing that unwanted belly fat and body fat. Go to BillMabryCoaching.com, check out my courses and packages, check out the ebooks, and check out my training blogs as well. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see you guys after the first of the year. Have a great day.